Hello everybody, this is Dr. Diamond. I hope you are well and thanks for watching this video. This video is about what you should take on consideration when you choose your own engagement diamond ring. Let me show you a few examples here. What you have to think about is what type of personality your fiance have. For example, if your fiance have a type of, uh, you know, artist, out of the box lady, you should go with the a little bit more colorful sets. For example, you can have a pink gold with white diamond, square diamond. This is a nice option. Or if you want to go a little bit more extreme, you can go with a blue diamond. Or you can go even yellow diamond, like a canary color diamond. Or if you want to choose the shape, different shape, you can see the oval cut diamond. Now let's go for the traditional lady. What you should look in the ring for the traditional low profile ladies. We can start obviously with the one stone, one solitaire, one diamond, beautiful setting, plain, nothing extreme, very low profile, very beautiful, elegant model. If you want to go different, you can go with princess cut or round cut, halo ring with the beautiful side stones. But what is very, very important here, what I like to, you to pay attention, you should always focus the, the, the personality of the lady. Because you don't want to give something that will not represent her personality. She may be not going to be happy. So let's talk about the diamond. What kind of diamond to take? So again, if we're talking about the out-of-the-box lady, the artist lady kind of, maybe she like to express herself a little bit more. So I would go with a little bit bigger diamond. For the same budget, you can, you, you can play with the diamond size and quality. So I will go maybe with a little bit bigger diamond, and that will represent her personality. Now, the other way, if she is a little bit more low profile, you know, uh, lady, I will go with a little bit smaller diamond and a little bit higher quality. What you should understand about the diamond quality, you have to understand that, you know, this is a lifetime uh, ring. So what you should take in consideration is that, you know, you don't want the ring, the value of the ring will be depreciated. So our experience with the last 100 years, if you stay with the SI quality and better, the value always going up. So I don't recommend you to go with a very low quality diamond, even if she like to be a super big diamond. So if you go with SI and up, you're safe. Now, what is SI? If you guys asking yourself, what is SI quality diamond? The, the official description of SI is, you don't see any imperfection with naked eyes. So it's very important. So you take the ring and uh, you know, uh, you don't see any imperfection. It just look perfect, it look as good as VS VVS, and it might cost half of the price. So again, let's go about value. What I recommend to my friends and uh, family, you know, go with SI, unless if you have extra money to put on VS or higher quality, that I can explain you later on if you like to know more what is the benefits of having a VS, I can tell you later on too. But with the SI you save, you're getting the best look for your investment. And you, you protect yourself uh, from depreciation of the value of the ring. So uh, I hope you learn something in this short video. And uh, if you have some more questions, I'll be happy to assist you. Just call us and uh, thanks for watching this video. All the best. See you guys.